how's it going? Level 100, yep. Yeah. So, Jack, today we are level 100 gaming. And I have a bajillion Divine Orbies and Chaos Orbies and we're balling. So we need to figure out how to either make this build better or make a zoomy mappy boy or both. I swapped to Kapava's Thirst and holy cow it is comfy. Do you think it's um, do you think it's just the play Ari? Like just in general, like even for like bossing, like Ubers and shit? Yes. No. Oh, you think it's the play for mapping only? Bossing is awful. Oh, okay, so it's just for mapping. Wait, what's the problem with bossing on it? Is it because of that initial delay before you trigger? Sometimes you miss and it's dog shit. Right. I, I heard of a setup Ari to help with that. You put Archmage on Frostblink. Cause that way you can go boop 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 and then go and then go true yeah and Archmage does so much damage on Frostblink. I should try that yeah I think it'd be kind of cool anyway anyway you don't need Muns Muns is evil true but Muns is the only way to get a Mage Blood and I think I want a Mage Blood all right so we need to do money making strategy now apparently they nerfed the Divine Orb strategy that Quinn exploited. Um, yeah, I saw Ziz was magic finding and it seemed really good actually. What other ways could we make some money boys? I was thinking we could just keep mapping. We could also try bossing. Um, obviously I would love to do T17s, but I think I want a mage blood before I do that. Have you seen the mid curation and completion even more rare? Oh, really? So I, I saw that they made some scabs more rare. Were these two more rare? Dude, they're only like 25c on hardcore. Should I be buying these? Uh, should, should I be should I be buying them? How much are these on softcore? Almost 2D. Oh shoot. Until we figure out a strategy, I think we can just alk and go for a bit. But yeah, I do I do need a new money making strategy chat. Alright, well let's think about this. We could do the pleb farm strategy. So the pleb farm strategy would be essence and well, maybe not Harvest. I, I didn't think... Harvest didn't seem too expensive to me. But we could do... Um, I, I think you always did the lead mechanic no matter what. I think the lead mechanic's really fucking insane. So no matter, no matter what you do, you run the lead mechanic, right? I think you also run an influence. Um, for sure, right? So maybe... <clears throat> I suppose they all work kind of similar now because you want to clear um, thingamajig, so... I don't think it matters if you decide to do the um, Maven, Eater, or Exarch influence. And with that in mind, I think I'm just gonna do Exarch because it's fun. And it seems to be decent money. So at least two parts of my Atlas strategy are kind of dunzy. So that's good. Like, I don't have to worry too much about that. And that comprises <clears throat> at least half of the Atlas. In, you know, in terms of pathing and stuff as well. Um, so I can maybe afford to put maybe two mechanics on which fits kind of perfectly because we also need to figure out um, Scarabs to use then too. Do you think my money-making method should just be to craft? Do you think I should go all in on crafting and just be a crafting Andy? You don't play hardcore right Ari? Are we are we can you play softcore right? Can't have you cutting in on my profit <laughs> uh, Should I make one wait so What's some meta crafting shit that I could do? Obviously, Archmage gear would be potent. Do you see what this is doing? Yeah. Uh, do you think it's actually good, Nilky? Because he looks like he's getting like, I don't know, 30 or 40 uniques a map. That sounds very low. Like, do you think he just got really lucky? Or is it actually Pog? He got lucky, I'd say. I'm pretty sure he got lucky, but what's he doing? He is... Running a Ghosted Exile Atlas with a bunch of like exile bullshit. It's actually really simple to explain any magic find mechanic. So any mechanic in the game right now, chat, how do you do it? Like, it, 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 chat, if you farm Harvey, you put Harvey Scarabs and Harvey Atlas. Boom. Right? Boom. If you farm Exiles, you farm Exiles Scarabs and Exile Atlas. Boom. If you farm Div cards, you put Div Scarabs. Boom. Like it's. They've kind of simplified the end game uh, a lot because you no longer have to multiply uh, mechanics together. You just. 
You, you essentially only have room for one, maybe two. You can't really like multiply them like crazy. So if you see Ziz running like exiles, he's literally just doing like he runs exiles. Boom. So what's your strat right now? So my strategy right now is I don't know what to do. I'm like, as you can see, I'm not running scabs right now. And I'm just thinking, and I figure it's better to be doing something rather than nothing. The worst money making method in the game is AFK in your hideout. Ultimatum's OP. You know what, Bank? That is actually true. Are you just saying that? I'm pretty sure it is actually OP though. It is, right? I mean, Fertile and uh, Prismatic are so expensive. I'm pretty sure he's right, chat. I'm just saying that. But it can't be that bad. Yeah. I think I think you're right though, for realsies though. I think it's actually a good idea. It's like 15, 20 C a catalyst or something. And you can get you can, I think you can basically guarantee catalyst rewards too, right? How's the fast playing bird going? Oh yeah, I was gonna be a beard. Um okay, so this is what happened. This is why you, you guys kinda missed what happened, because I wasn't streaming. I before I went to bed last night, I was too I was too buzzed from hitting 100. I was you know, I was in a good mood. So I was like, fuck it, I'm gonna respect my character and put a bunch of gear on and I'm gonna test it. And I tested it and the build works, but it's really shit without impulses. I didn't test it with impulses, but it was really not better than what I'm doing right now. Like you do run around like crazy, but you don't one shot the entire screen is the issue. And so you kind of have to teleport back and forth constantly and it's just kind of awkward overall. So, unfortunately, bit of an L there. Ultimatum. You do need the nodes, right? I'm right next to every ultimatum wheel on this tree, actually. Holy shit. Wait, do, you, do I need to even spec into it? Ultimatum. Hmm. And I bet you are pretty cheap. Yeah, the literally one Chaos Orb. I think the only- shit, the only wheel that I'm not next to is the only wheel that I think you actually want. One, two, three, four, it's five. So it's- it's four points to get here, which is not the end of the world, actually. I'm not too far away. Um, I, I think it is potentially possible for me to fit it in. Because you want to run stone... You, you want to make all the easier ones, right? So you would run ultimatum, scab, bribing, probably. So these two. The only problem is you, you definitely want more of these. And these are way more common. I mean, rare. I mean, they can't be that rare. I guess people just aren't selling scarabs yet. Bribing, dueling, inscription, catalyzing. Oh, uh, this is the, this is the money one, right? Fuck the red divine orb. Are they worth that? I mean, so the gamba there is you're assuming that you can actually get like valuable ultimatum, sir. I'll just try one, just for fun, I guess. Okay, ultimatum. So catalyst become ultimatum. Double reward round and ultimatum is probably on here, right? Yeah. Nah, let's just do catalyst for now. And scribe can be good. I'm too much of a puss. Alright, um, alright, let's give it a go, I guess. It contains ultimatum, catalyst is reward, double rounds. Uh, surely this is a good idea. Okay, monsters cannot be slowed or stunned. Alright, I just have to survive. This is like the second best one, I think. Die. Okay. I mean, so far we haven't made our money back. But now we got the big boy rounds, right? This is theoretically like round nine now, I think. Um, I don't want to get hindered. The vapors are inescapable. I just need one Prismatic or Fertile and we're okay. If you don't get what Prismatic or Fertile, it's kind of GG though. Um, that's over, boys. I got a bajillion scabs, but none of them were good. Yeah, I think I actually managed to lose money. <laughs> <laughs> he the fuck said this was good? Yeah, shit. Okay, well, what other cool scarabs are there? So that did not necessarily work. I mean, we could do some ultimatum scarabs of dueling. 
I mean, this is a good build for ultimatum. Like, a really, 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 really good build. But holy shit, what was that? Holy shit, I gotta be careful, bro. What the... Dude, what the fuck? Ultimatum hurts. Jesus. Yeah, I got humbled real quick. <laughs> like, instantly humbled, dude. I never learned these boss, this boss's mechanics. So I have no idea what he does. I assume these bombs are bad, though. Knights of Chaos. Four tainted catalysts. That was definitely minus one divine lol W. My service continues. Chaos laughs, mortal. Let me fucking loot the. Okay, he, he drops it after. Holy fuck, I was gonna lose my mind. So, 2000 mana, everything scarcer, chance for implicit haunted. Parentis rarity unique. Can you guys think of anything else I might wanna add to this? Do, do you think I should try to go. No, nah, probably don't go for additional craft, right? Just send it. I'm just gonna send it. Please work. May the prosperity granted to the eternal empire remain forevermore. Well, it's I don't know how it works yet, so. Have the means to return to greatness. <laughs> wow, didn't roll an implicit? Oi, oi. That's bullshit. What? I put four corpses on there. Still good though, yeah. All right, so in theory, if Gratha is a genius, and he is a genius shit, he is a genius. So I have 9482 mana. I need two more points. This is sick, because it actually gives me res too. And I really need res, like, so bad. I'm just going to take, like, damage nodes off for a second, just to see the difference. Oh, ho, 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 Exile. Get on this tech, boy. Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. <laughs> yeah, it's because of a natural, yeah. Because all of these nodes have mana. <laughs> That's so fucking OP. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. Well, that was a huge upgrade, anyway. I mean, on a positive note, chat. Holy shit, right? I have nearly 14k life now. That's amazing. And I, I got a bunch of extra damage from that too. And I'm over cap res now. That was a huge upgrade. That was amazing, chat. All right, um, do we... Oh yeah, we were, that's right. We were gonna try this uh, Anarchy strat. Um, are we missing anything now? I have Nika for safety, map mod effect out the wazoo. Um, did I have all the scarab notes? Alright, I mean, how rippy could this shit be, boys? How rippy? D this doesn't run 8 mod, right? He just runs 6 mod with, like... Just don't do red map. Wait, is he is he running the 8 mod? Should I do 1 map mod with no mods? Just super safe. Just to start with. I think this tree's good enough to start. Let's just try one singular map. Um, alright, so let's see. He runs an overload scarab. He runs... Two of these. And then one of these. You have shrines. Yeah, I want shrines, right? So the reason why I want shrines, if you're wondering, is um, for safety mostly. You know, it gives me the opportunity to run um, potentially some nice defensive shrines to make it a bit easier and faster. I can drop the shrines though, to be clear. Okay, gigantic ex So I assume these giant exiles are essentially giga fucked, basically. That's the, that's the danger, yeah? What about, um? oh, you can't influence them because they're white maps, of course. Um, anarchy, and then you run Anarchy, right? And so that gives you access to eight exiles, I think. I mean, screw it, let's just try it, right? Um, I didn't get any cool loot, so we don't run anything, right? I have the Exile Ember Flame, but I'm not gonna do it for this because the, the Exile Ember Flames are more expensive than anything else. Like, they think they cost a Divine each or something stupid. Unique bosses are possessed, less recovery rate. Here we go. Can I, uh, there's like literally three mods, okay. Anarchy. Quantity of items found. I guess they have downside, so I put auto near them.
Whoa! Not be DDing the exiles. They got a blunder ball. That's cool. I mean, you definitely get items, right? I mean, I kind of want to see how much damage they do. Just to know if they are rippy or not. I still don't understand why they're rippy. I'm pretty sure you guys were just pranking me. So you guys are too good at that. Okay, that has, that's got nothing to do with what we were just doing in terms of magic finding. It's a shame it's not worth anything anymore. Yeah, this does give loot though, what the fuck? Yeah, this is kind of litty, dude. Thoughts? Yeah, this is fun. <laughs> hey! I guess it's a bit of RNG, but yeah, this is fun. You basically don't make any money unless you drop something big, though. <laughs> Dude, I'm pretty sure this just got lucky. I don't know, I mean... Or oh, he's been doing a lot of them. Wait, maybe he's just done like 300 maps or something. What does this get? He got a Calandra's Touch, a Relicash and Patience, and two Aegis. It is fun, though. If I, if I could buy the Scarabs in bulk, I, I would probably consider doing this. So how do you make mines? Uh, we're just testing different strategies right now. We're testing- right now, so we tested so far Ultimatum. We're testing Exiles now, which... A bit of a mixed bag, as far as I can tell. Wow. Ah, uh, That's not bad. I mean, this got such good drops, man. I, I, I'm like stuck, I'm stuck between like really wanting to abuse this as much as possible and also being a doubter. Because I know how many uniques it takes to get a T0 normally. I think we saw in Affliction how bad it was. They did increase the drop rate by 2.5 they said. Didn't know this can happen. <laughs> Yo! Holy shit, that could have happened to me! Boys, that could have happened to me! Oh no! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh no! Well, I'm glad that didn't happen to me, and I'm sorry it happened to you. <laughs> oh no! Alright, so what's another strategy, boys? What's another one? Sanctum? I'm definitely keen on Sanctum. I'm pretty sure this character would fucking Sanctum. Harbinger? I already tried Harbi. Harbi is not, unfortunately, the play. The, the, the issue is mirrors aren't worth anything in hardcore. And fracture orbs are gonna be devalued because of um, the league mechanic. Because it's a lot easier to fracture something with the league mechanic than it is to do it with Harbi orbs. Actually, I'll do an Exarch now, just so you guys can see. Like, I, 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 won't, I won't even stall, look, anti stoltic You guys wanna see an Exarch? Your absurd defiance ends here, Hatchling. We will win this together. Annihilation. The fires of a thousand suns. You do not have the strength, Hatchling. Wait, how comes this is getting all the T-Zeros? What? Holy shit, this is at three T zeros, I think, today. Incineration <laughs> Jesus. I don't know how to get so many overlord scabs though. Alright. <laughs> no. <laughs> Fucking this dude. That's actually insane though, dude. Oh, so close! Oh, so close! Yeah, the build with a mage blood is gonna be so legit, chat. Is this Uber? Um, they changed the way Ubers work, and so they basically just don't exist anymore, which is a bit sad. We'll get there eventually, but ha yeah, not gonna lie, hardcore is a bit like a bit stale now. Oh. 
That's a really good roll, actually. Like, I think I can get 3D for that. Money! Money! Alright, uh, anyway, uh, okay, coffee time. Now, coffee time. But we'll do more bosses, chat. Uh, well, I got some bosses. We'll do some bosses. Pick back, chat.